you guys tonight is known as Spotted Dog. Now, before tonight, has anyone ever heard of Spotted Dog before? Yes. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And that is it. Yep. That's it. That was it. And you saw that? That that was the current. And there's, like I said, absolutely no possible way that you would have got that sort of accuracy by using any other currents other than Sunbeam with the transparent strip. Okay. Now the other half packet goes in. <laughs> so really, just a, a, a very small amount of sugar. <laughs> In fact, just the one metric handful should be more than enough. <laughs> but most importantly is the castor oil. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, now, folks, when you make this at home, of course, the castor oil will be an optional extra, uh, and that will depend on your own situation. Uh, now, the cooking of a spotted dog is just as important, if not more important, really, than the mixing. And, of course, the 60s, which we place just onto the ground there. And for the top element, the 362s, which are put in this top. These ones go around the top outside edge of each of the leaves. This ghost, maybe you as you're passing by the corner. You'll come waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come waltzing Matilda with me, and he sang and he watched. Well, mind your platypus, duck, Bill. Mind your platypus, duck. Don't let him go back in the muck. Bill, we'll just mind your platypus, duck. All together now. Time your kangaroo down, sport. Time your kangaroo down. Time your kangaroo down, sport. Time your kangaroo down. Well, turn me hard when I'm dead, Fred. Turn my heart when I'm dead. So he turned his eye when he died, Clyde, and that's it, hanging on the shed all together. Is to get that basic sound, you know that good didgeridoo sound? And the way you do that is you pretty much just blow a raspberry through your ear. <laughs> 